for years, the West's hypocrisy has made the world a- Alright guys, what is up? It's Kyle, and today I have for you guys a tutorial. So, today's tutorial is going to be on how to do live commentaries, and commentaries, using the Avery Dead Game Capture HD. So, as you guys know, by the Avery Dead Game Capture HD, it doesn't uh, link up to your computer, so you don't know when your voice is in sync or not while doing live commentaries. So, what software I use for doing live commentaries is called Audacity. I mean, this software is really, really good, uh, and it really is high quality sound. Did I mention it's also free to download? That is a good bonus. So I'll just give you guys a tutorial on how to use it. So after you open up and stuff, it doesn't take too much uh, time to set up. So you just open it and it comes up like this. So what you're going to do is, for your speakers, select the speakers you're using. I'm using Total Beach PX21 just now. Uh, then same for the microphone and all you need to do is hit record when your game starts so I'll just show you how to do it this is a test on using Audacity a free downloadable software for great audio quality so there we go that's my sound bit recorded so what I shall do is file export and we'll save it to the desktop we'll call it Audacity test So there we go, and you don't need to fill in any of this, you just click OK, and that's your done. So, uh, we'll just shut that down just now, we'll just click close, and no saving. So here you go, here's Audacity test right here, and what you're going to do is, to get this up to your gameplay, after you've imported your gameplay onto your computer via USB stick, or external hard drive, it's your choice what you use, um, you're going to want to open up your editor. So. Here's my editor here, it's called VideoPad Video Editor, it is a great free software and I'll just show you one downside with the Avon Media Game Capture HD quality just now. If you can see that, the video is running at half the speed but the audio stays up to the same time, leaving it unsynced in the editor. That can be really annoying when trying to edit videos. So what you do to fix that in VideoPad is you just want to apply your settings. So I'll apply my color correction settings, which is 30 for um, brightness, 20 for contrast, 1.10 for gamma. Then also for saturation, we use 70 sat oh, 70 saturation. I mean, 700 just still looks bad, so we'll keep it at 70. So now if I put that back to the start and play this video, oh, you you can't see much of it there just because you need to give it time to load down here so we'll just leave it at that just now and then what you do after that is you click add media then you go to your desktop or wherever you've saved your audio file so there is audacity test open and you just import in your uh, as usual yeah so then you just put it in like that and drag it to wherever it syncs up so I'll keep it there and just play this just now this is a test on using Audacity, a free downloadable software. So there, you could hear my voice there, um, and it was synced up with the video. So that is how to do live commentaries with the Ever Media. Now I shall go on to do just normal commentaries. So after your video has been imported, uh, most softwares have it um, built into them now. And what you want to do is click Narrate, and what you do is you just set it up and that should probably you just click record so I'll just record I'm just doing a narration here on VideoPad it is a free downloadable software as always because I'm cheap and let's just stop the video here so now if I put there you go it automatically goes in and if I click that now I'm just doing a narration here on VideoPad it is a free downloadable software as always because I'm cheap um, so yeah there you go you could hear my voice and after you've done all this and you're happy with your video you just want to click save movie and render it because that is your finito so there's my render settings I use HD 720 um, 25 frames a second and I'll just click cancel just now because I don't want to save it so Anyway guys, thank you for watching, uh, I hope this really helped, please rate, comment, subscribe and favourite the video, it really helps me out, 
and hopefully I can get some new tutorials soon. So anyway guys, I'm going to head, peace out, goodbye.